Okay, it just happens to be Saturday afternoon, April the 19th, 2014, and yes, it is Happy Pagan Ishtar Weekend, Worship Weekend, Ishtar, yeah. uh, 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 otherwise, I mean, also known as Easter Sunday. Pasha. What? Pasha. No, that, that's passion fruit in Puerto Rico. Pasha if, was mistranslated in the Bible into Easter. Pasha, which means actually Passover, not well, Easter. Well, um, Catholics, as, Catholics. You, as you can see, if you pause this show, Ooh. in before we, be, we began, there's a banner with an a ancient uh, stone carving of Ishtar and the explanation of of the historic origins of traditional Easter. And uh, yes, it, it stems from paganism, just like the Christmas, the winter solstice did. And uh, and go to Megalife21 on, on uh, YouTube, or you can type it in Google, Megalife21, <laughs> uh, um, the Easter lie, mm -hmm. uh, Jesus did not die on Friday, mm -hmm. and the truth about Easter, and you will hear the one and only my co-host and mentor uh, narrated. So, hey. speaking of, welcome everyone and welcome to Uncensored Hard Hitting Truth. I am your host, James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21, the hardest hitting internet talk radio station on the planet. And I will now formally, formally pipe aboard my illustrious co-host and mentor and the very founder of uh, Newsletter Censored in 1977 with my authentic bosun's whistle. <whistles> arr, arr. Welcome aboard our uh, hard-hitting truth starship, the starship Newsletter Censored the one and only, the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman. How are you doing this uh, pagan Ishtar weekend? I lost some sleep last night. Oh, what happened? So I, I cannot wait until my nap. Your canap? The devil uh, cats uh, made me lose sleep last night. Why do the devil cats want to go out I at at no all, the, all these strange times when humans Are need sleeping. to sleep. I have no idea, but they do it. Well, they do it. And they won't let you s ignore them. No, they'll give you... You cannot ignore them. They'll, they give you a, they'll give you a symphony of non-stop meows. Meow, 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 meow. Speaking of one of the devils, there he just came in. <laughs> oh. But anyway, uh, we are broadcasting to you from the Newsletter Censored Research Center in Northeastern New Jersey, and uh, it's, it, it has been a cold spring, which mm -hmm. probably so means far, yeah. that the tulips will be out there longer, because they like cool springs, but uh, it's not bad out. So we're, we're just, we're trying the all natural, okay? Until the dogs start, start Until quiet. Until Working. the dogs or some crude individuals, like this particular woman that has to let the whole friggin' neighborhood know she's on the phone. Yeah. Everybody has to hear a conversation. Yeah. Oh, man. The human race. I would say gotta love them, but that would be... Some people might take me seriously when I say that. But uh, anyway, also, besides uh, Happy Pagan Ishtar, or Easter, Happy Earth Day. Earth Day is this coming week, which is a very important day for our planet, of course, and we happen to be on it. This uh, coming week or d during this week? They just was going. No, down. no, no. Coming up. This coming up week okay. is Earth Day. Some, some. I, I'm not sure. It's like in the middle of the week, but uh, and then of course followed by Arbor Day, which is also this coming week, which is celebration of trees. But that's kind of like tied into Earth Day. And uh, Gary Noll has been promoting an event which I posted on uh, our uh, Mega Life 21 Facebook groups and you could check it out. It's a it's an Earth Day event and it looks very nice. Mm -hmm. um, so um, anyway, 
let me start by uh, doing the uh, Chisler's Hall of Shame. Mm. Okay, which is a consumer-oriented um, little um, thing that we do, little program that we do, because we are, aside from being uh, serious animal rights activists and human rights activists, we are also consumer advocates. Okay, let me induct, first of all, let me know if it's visible. Progresso Soups. Hold on. Progresso Soups. And yeah. I'll tell you why I'm saying shame on you, Progresso Soups. First of all, what is that? What is the? What is that? Light? Well, this one is beef pot roast. Oh, sounds good to me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It sounds great. Oh. This one is the light version. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to uh, see who. You know what I better do? I better get the magnifying glass. I want to see what company is making Progresso soups because I think it started out as a family-owned business. Started out as Italian, but right probably in, something else. Right now. here in Rochelle Park, New Jersey. You know, in, really? in, in Bergen County. Yeah, it was in wow. Rochelle Park. Okay. The reason why, before I uh, I mention who owns this, and and I'll tell you why, I'm saying what I'm saying. I opened up the can, you know, my mom, she's home from the hospital, you know, I'm, I'm taking care of her, you know, keeping <clears> an eye on her. So, soup, senior citizens like soups. They're, they're kind of like easily digestible meals. You know, the, the soup with some whole wheat crackers, as long as there's no corn syrup in or sugar, soups are, are, are a good, easy to digest meal. I open it up, I go, whoa, beef pot roast. Yeah. And what do I find in this Progresso beef pot roast soup? I find little tiny specks of meat. Not Very little beef is yeah. in Progresso beef pot roast. Okay, now I used to eat Progresso soup as a, as a child and it was pretty damn good. But this thing was this was loaded with potatoes and and veggies and very little meat. Mm. And who the hell knows if it's pot roast? It could be anything. Yeah, it could be. It's all chopped up. And pink slime. It could be anything. And the yeah. same thing applies to all the other Progresso soups. There's hardly any chicken. There's hardly any beef. Shame on you, Chisler's Hall of Shame, Progresso soup. And this is why I think there's hardly any beef in this. Progresso Soups is owned by, no more family owned, it is owned by General Mills ah. Sales Incorporated, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Gee, General Mills, isn't that part of the, of the toxic garbage American food industry that makes those sugar-laden cereals? Yeah, how much you pay for that? I don't know. My sister uh, go well, does the general. Well, soup like close to two two bucks. A can. Yeah. I mean, they can put real beef in there if they wanted to. Of course, they can put real beef in there. That's like uh, that's like like a, 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 somebody uh, from Colombia was telling me if you buy whole grain city whole grain cereal in Colombia, there's there's a loaf of white bread with actually one whole grain in it. Ah! So legally, they're giving you whole they're giving grain. You whole grain, yes, yes. So, inductee, shame on you, Chisler's Hall of Shame, General Mills, that makes Progresso soups. Hardly any meat in there. Where's the beef? Like the old lady used to say wow. in that commercial. Where's the beef? And why do they get away with these things? Oh, gee, let me guess. Deregulation. Deregulation. Yeah. I'm not sure. Do you guys get a? Yeah, you. Uh, uh, ah, too much. Right, right about there. Okay. Right, right about there. Chisler's yeah. Hall of Shame. Shame on you. Progresso General Soups. General Mills. General Mills Company. No, hardly any beef in the soup, and it applies to the other uh, brands too. And we I just, just said on Friday soup. yesterday. I just had a Progresso soup. Um, what the hell was it? 
Oh, uh, uh, split pea and ham. Smoked no, ham? fragioli. Oh, beans. Yeah, beans and uh, and uh, the little tiny. Uh, the two macaronis. Yeah, very very small. I used to um, I used to love their uh, um, split pea with smoked ham. I hate split pea. I had it when I was young. I don't like it anymore. It's disgusting. This, this guy over here, my, well, especially my, since Linda Blair. Well, that was split pea soup, by the way. Exactly. The Exorcist. My co-host and mentor right here, the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman, I did not, I do not remember if I mentioned his name before, I might have forgotten, but it's the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman that you hear in the background, and uh, he doesn't like anything green. Well, he's like, I take chlorophyll. He's like uh, Herbert Walker Bush and broccoli. I hate, I hate broccoli. I hate broccoli. I ain't gonna My eat mother it. made me eat it. I yeah. hate broccoli. Oh, yeah, Thousand hey. points of light. <laughs> okay, second Chisler's Hall of Shame, and the last. Okay, uh, now, Dr. Bill, when I, anytime I used to go to Whole Foods and get uh, the fresh ground peanut butter from the machine uh -huh. that I would grind myself, uh -huh. I, you know, I would take a deli cup, whatever size you want, and, you know, it comes out of the machine. And it's, I see the peanuts, the dry roasted Virginia peanuts going into the the trough or whatever you want to call it, where the blades are. And the I, hopper, yeah, hopper, hopper. The hopper, I'm sorry. Hopper. And then it goes in and the peanut butter comes out the other end. It's solid, fresh ground, sugar-free peanut butter. Mm -hmm. No salt. It's 100% peanut butter and it comes out pretty decent. You know, I mean, it comes out soft, but it's... It, the oil is evenly mixed mm -hmm. with the peanut. Homogenized. Right. Mm -hmm. But it's like it, it's like naturally done so by the machine. But anytime like my sister brings home um, Smucker's all natural peanut butter it says 100% peanut butter. Mm -hmm. eh. Check the label. Every time I open it up there's a ton of oil sitting on top. Well that's good. Wait a minute, I'm not done yet. Oh. I stir it up before uh, I put it in the refrigerator. Yes. I stir it up good. I go and get it the next day thinking it was going to be homogenized. Uh -huh. All evenly mixed. No, it's not evenly dispersed. It's still very oily. So I suspect that even though I mixed it, even though it was refrigerated overnight, mm -hmm. I suspect that the company that makes Smucker's peanut butter is watering down the peanuts with extra oil so they so they use less peanuts possible, otherwise possible. why wouldn't it get stiff after I stir the oil in possible possible it's not Check that label for sugar too it's a filler sugar is a filler sure well companies in the United States have been known to use fillers oh have, like like have been known like for instance with nutritional supplements with uh, protein powders and, and with drinks, with with uh, powder drink mixes for athletes, they've been known to use lecithin as a filler to give you less of the active ingredients, less of the protein. But they do use fillers in, in American food industry. Yeah. So, so you know, a Hall of Shame, Smucker's Peanut Butter, and of course Progresso Soups, you're in there. And, uh, oh, before we begin, because that's all I have to say. Um, you were telling me about something you read concerning uh, South Carolina and the Bible and dinosaurs? No, I heard Gary Null. Gary Null had gotten hold of a test that was given. I don't know the grade, but obviously it was one lower grade. It was kids. Right. It wasn't, you know, young adults. Or uh -huh. And uh, it was probably South Carolina. I, I don't quote me on it, but it was a southern state, of course. Mm -hmm. And the questions on it were something. The word they were creationist, uh, intelligent design questions versus uh, evolution, right? Yeah. What kind of uh, uh, what kind of animal uh, in, in Job? It's mentioned a behemoth. What kind of animal was Behemoth? Nobody really knows. And they give knows. you a picture of, and the one was a dinosaur. But the nobody knows a dinosaur. Leviathan and Behemoth. Right. Nobody knows what they were. 
Okay. Just like nobody nobody can accurately describe what angels really look like, except the description in the Bible, which has them like like they were in uh, during Babylon and and, and uh, Persia. They were the the cherub. The word cherub <laughs> goes back to Babylon, and uh, I think even Zoroasterism of of Persia, and they look like gargoyles. They're not. They're well, not there's these. A, there's descriptions in the Bible. Yeah, of they're the not. They're angels. not these little chubby cheek babies Some have with six wings. You know, yeah. etc. Cetera, et cetera. But they're not these chubby the, cheek, uh, chubby no, cheek babies. No, no, with no. Curly hair. Invention of artists. Invention of artists. Uh -huh. You know, free license. Anyway. Anyway. This test went on, and uh, the Earth is six thousand years old. That's the correct answer. Etc. Etc. Now, any fool that uh, 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 it says he uh, studies the Bible or, uh, or whatever just has to look at Genesis one verse two, and then Psalm one hundred four yeah. verse thirty, and you know that the damn earth is not six thousand years old. That's all you need to do, right? To to to, to prove those creationists and intelligent design jerks wrong. Right. But who does it? Who does it? Yeah. And yet what are they doing? They're indoctrinating their kids in those states. But idiots. With their goddamn mm. brainwashing crap. Hey, the, uh, I was reading that the state of uh, Louisiana wants to make the Bible the, the state, the official state book. Listen. Well, they wouldn't make the real Bible the state book any time, you know, believe me. It'll be their version. Their conception of it. You know, any time you mix politics with religion, you, you're asking for big trouble. We have a First Amendment against that. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Those people in the southern states, those that they call the red states, the only uh, amendment they believe in wholeheartedly is the second one. What, the right to be a lunatic? The right to bear arms. The right you know? to bear a straitjacket. All the other ones can go to hell. The right to bear a straitjacket is what they really need. <laughs> Hold on. I gotta, I gotta make a bigger handle for the levity belts like I used to have before they fell apart. Yeah, I think they had more of a jingle with the larger handle. Right now they sound like uh, they sound like shit. reindeer bells. No, no, they sound like reindeer bells. They used to be louder. But anyway, um, it's insanity. It's insanity. Stop the insanity. Well, they're not going to stop it down there, believe me. They, yeah, they, they, they would, if they can get away with it, they, they would secede. These nuts would secede from the Union. That's correct. They want to do that, you know. It's bad. It's a. Uh, uh, it, 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 it's, it's their bad version because they're wrong. You Not can't. this wrong. Listen. They they're wrong on their misconceptions of the Bible, etc. Well, they're not only wrong on their interpretation and conceptions about what is in the Bible. Exactly. But even if they were correct about what's in the Bible, you can't mix it with politics because no religion has been able to prove anything that their God exists. So therefore not one penny, not one penny of mm. taxpayers' money should go towards anyone's religion. Well it does right now in two forms. Faith-based initiatives, giving money to them, and tax breaks. Well, so yeah, they're giving right. it twice. So they're giving, they're giving your tax dollars. We are giving. That your tax money is going to their cult religion. Supporting their cults. To support their cults, because I won't call them religions. No. Well, they could be religions. B Buddhism is a religion. I'd call it a philosophy, well, but they call it a religion. Uh, Buddha... But it has no deity. Listen, listen. Buddha has no deity. Right. Buddha, Buddhists are very nice, inoffensive people, very peace-loving, like 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 Hindus. They they don't bother anybody. Well, anybody can be that. But the yeah. point of it is that evangelical Christians and Baptists and etc. and uh, 
they claim to have a deity and they derive that deity from the Bible. But it doesn't sound and like... it's not true. But it doesn't, doesn't sound like the God from the Bible. It isn't. You know, and... But uh, they get away with this. And, because and, if you criticize yeah. any religion... <laughs> ooh, but they, but aren't they... Doesn't it seem like they're the only ones that like to proselytize and go around forcing their, their beliefs on everybody else? Well, that's what the Roman Catholic Church did in history and still does today because they want they want members yeah but this guy is a, this guy's a good egg he everybody loves this pope francis this i i can really dig this new pope francis actually he he just had his one year anniversary as pope yeah well yeah but he doesn't uh, excuse me you know he doesn't represent the roman catholic church in its history no just, way he is know. the total opposite of the history of the roman catholic it's church correct right. <laughs> Correct. But he he is the first guy, the first pope, aside from John Paul, uh, what was he? Second. The Polish man? John, John Paul, Paul II. Second. Aside from him, they're the who only will, two popes I like. Who will shortly be beatified as a saint. Would you like to be beatified? No, I be would not. What is that word? How is that? Can canonized, right? Well, yeah, whatever. I can't pronounce what you said. Edith Bunker? Edith Bunker? The point no, is, how it, does that, how does becoming a saint equate with humbleness? It doesn't. Exactly. Because if you see all, um, all images of, um, of saints, they're usually dressed up pretty nice. Hey, the Roman Catholic Church killed the saints. Read they, Revelation they were, they were 17. Martyred. Yeah, they were martyred. Okay. Who do you think asked the Roman Empire to kill yeah. them on their behalf? Because they were heretics. All right. Well, plus the... Um, and Jews. Yeah. They Judaized everything. Yeah. And, and, and plus the Roman Catholic Church, uh, they were always against science. Like, you know, by giving Galileo a hard time and uh, hard time, they had him in house arrest. And Da Vinci and um, yeah, but anyway, um, could you imagine if all these greats, all these scientists, including the ones in Greece, were were backed and supported by their governments and and you know what I mean? And 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 the their, the system back then had the intelligence to get behind them, including Nikola Tesla. You know what I mean? And, and and could you imagine where we would be now technologically? Uh -huh. Isaac uh -huh. Newton, Copernicus, all of them, Da Vinci. Exactly. We would be forget about uh, kids playing on their iPhones for God's sake. They they they'd be doing that. They would have something more advanced, guaranteed. And what about medical science too? That would be advanced. People. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, uh, when you have a brilliant mind. If that brilliant mind has to be disturbed daily to find a way to live, survival, yeah. survive, well, that's not good for a brilliant no, mind. You're because hindering. Because it can't work. Exactly. Hey, look, professional bodybuilders uh, that were like, uh, I guess they were sponsored by Joe Weider, all the famous bodybuilders Weider. of the past, they had people backing them behind them, and all they did was hang out in the gym and work out all day and eat their strict regimen of diet of, of foods and you know that's the only way you can get to the level of winning awards and competing and succeeding well the same thing goes for for mental athletes so to speak for your your geniuses and your your mm -hmm. creative you have, to have the leisure time creative to pursue people those things yes well it, it not only working on the ideas you already have as a scientist but you need to also meditate or contemplate what else needs to be done and looked or into? with Mi Mr. Nikola Tesla, things came to him. Really? He was also a psychic. He, he was more than just a, a genius yes, scientist. He got flashes of psychism, you know, like he knew his mother was going to die. Fish, he knew this, he warned this guy not to go on a train oh, really? one time. And guess what happened to the train? crashed it crashed yes. oh, the guy he, died and he definitely was psychic he was yeah. this very special person that uh, was not in the history books because 
Thomas Edison is the one who sold out to the fat cats back then to sell electricity. J.P. Morgan and uh, the Rockefeller, you know, I mean... Uh, well, let's say, you know, you don't, you don't, in, in officialdom, you don't hear anything positive about Wilhelm Reich or Nikola Tesla or people like that. I never heard of Wil Wilhelm Reich until you exactly. told him, me about him. Exactly. But I now if you go <clears throat> and you want to have some negative stuff to say about him, you'll find, you know, the FDA still has him on their blacklist. Listen, you know? the FDA is still bitching and moaning about natural nutritional supplementation. Ooh. Because <laughs> they want corporations to own those things. They want, the they, they want you to get a, a, a prescription for a patented so-called uh, vitamin or mineral mm -hmm. so the drug companies can make a fortune and, and the, the doctors, politicians could, the could stuff their pockets more. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's what they want you to do. They, they, they don't want it. They want to patent Mother Nature. Could you believe that? Mother it's Nature. Funny. They want to take away all your freedoms, and the red state idiots don't recognize this. Stupid asses. The Codex Alimentarius, the Trans Pacific Partnership, all of these things, NAFTA, GATT, etc. They take away your individual freedom, uh -huh. and these people don't recognize it. Mm. They support their own slavery. Now, did you did you see that uh, uh, apparently Monsanto uh, came out with uh, their own promotional uh, video, yeah. and I posted it, and I, I I put information I typed above so people do not think that you're promoting that I'm promoting the the company Monsanto, yeah. I, I, and and I I, I <laughs> you know what. What else are they going to do? Everybody else is taking pot shots at them, and rightfully so. Everybody else is attacking Monsanto. But anyway, uh, check it out on the Uncensored, Hard Hitting Truth Facebook group under Mega Life 21. It's there, the video is there. And our uh, Facebook promo page is called Progressive Discussions because they won't let me changed the name so I had to keep it that way Facebook oh my goodness I thought Facebook me. was a freedom thing yes it's free to have spam shoved down your throat by Mark Zuckerberg ah. and, and you can't change the name of a group no they say delete the group they said it was too it would confuse my my uh, my members oh uh, they're so the worried about your members they, let the members make up their own minds now, I don't think, actually, they're both great names. Progressive Discussions is a nice name, and also Uncensored Hard-Hitting Truth is a nice name. I don't think there's going to be any mass confusion. There's going to be no confusion. They just are busting my balls about changing the name. Just like somebody came in to the, uh, the Facebook political group I had and sabotaged it, and I lost over uh, 830 members and oh, yeah. I had three members left I mean now I have they come back is it all right now or no it's working under the name uncensored hard-hitting truth but I mean I have like almost a uh, eh, almost 170 oh. members I don't have 800 plus members anymore but it's growing oh, people are joining it I just don't I had too many um, too many ultra liberals that didn't believe in um, they were like adaptive supporter type um, pacifist sycophant they didn't believe in fighting well, they're with in the, the right wing on their in other words they didn't believe in in assertive confrontation or, a, or aggressive confrontation yeah they're they, in the Congress huh they're in the Congress they do it every time when it comes up uh, for a gun whatever gun thing somebody wants to make a law background checks or guns they do the same thing they back away from it then they won't support it the democrats the democrats are just not fighting they don't want to fight you can go back to uh, 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 the two years that they had the congress with uh, mister barack obama and uh, they didn't get universal health care um, they got this piece of shit uh, obama which uh, is working for some people well you know. ten million people now have uh, 
health insurance that they didn't have before. But I'm glad you brought that up yeah. because when Barack Obama took office, when he when he initially took office, the Democrats at that time, uh, you say two years, uh, had control of the Congress, the Senate, and the White House. Yes. So they could have. Uh, they could have rammed anything through they wanted. They could have uh, changed the tax system and made the rich pay their fair share in taxes and put the tax burden back on the rich. <laughs> that ain't gonna happen. Like it was before Ronald Reagan. Yeah. They, they could have put in uh, a single payer u universal health care plan. They could have done that, but it didn't happen. So all you people that are like uh, these diehard Democratic Party uh, uh, loyalists, you have to look at that and say, you know what? Maybe the conspiracy theorists are right. Maybe the Democrats and the Republicans are just two sides of the same coin. Yeah. And and the problem is the two-party system is very corrupt, and uh, and and the and the and the problem uh, even deeper is political parties, like you always told me. And moolah, moolah is in political parties. Well, if you don't have parties, if you just have individuals running, uh, based on um, their abilities and how they come across policies, the, uh, policies, policies, and how and not personalities. Well, yes, 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 uh, and not affiliated with any political party. Mm -hmm. So this this way, you don't owe any favors if you get elected. Mm -hmm. You know the campaign contributions. Uh, I think Jesse Ventura says it was uh, it was unheard of that a, a man with. Uh, what did he he became governor on on just three hundred thousand dollars something, something like, like that. that something like that yeah it was unheard of such a low budget campaign well what did it was it his father who said that um, all uh, politics are crooks no uh, he said uh, something to the effect that uh, if you're going after a job uh, that pay, no, if you're going after the job that, that pays, pays you less than, uh, I think I'm saying it right, I'm not if, sure. If a job pays a couple hundred thousand dollars. Right, and, like you're, going, and, and you're, you're going to spend two million to get it, there's something wrong with that. In other words, what he's <laughs> saying, that there's, there's other things in the pot there that, that people don't know about. Exactly. In other words, nobody in their right mind is going to run for um, office for a job that pays a hundred, a hundred seventy-five thousand, two hundred thousand a year, and spend millions of dollars to get to it. Get there, right? Exactly. Uh, unless there's something else in it for well, that you. person. Yeah. It, yeah. Well, his father had a lot of common sense, uh -huh. <laughs> and that's why Jesse has a lot of common sense. So anyway, uh, 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 yes, Jesse. Unfortunately, but, that's why Jesse is off the grid. Is off the grid. That's why Jesse is uh, and, and Gary No are broadcasting on the internet. And they're not on um, full mainstream. Baby. Full mainstream media. Yeah. Hey, even MSNBC, uh, even their corporatists, they uh, they uh, they booted off uh, the man who runs uh, the Young Turks. Uh, they booted him off of MSNBC, and Jesse Ventura used to be on MSNBC for a very short period, and they mm -hmm. booted him off too. But they keep Joseph for Skyborough, don't they? Morning, Joe. Corporatists. I guess any 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 media that has uh, corporate sponsors is most likely corporatist. Yeah. It Who only, the hell do you think gives them the money? It only makes sense, right? Sponsors. Ipso facto ergo. Yeah, that's correct. With me, Blackthorn Irish Shillelagh. That's correct. Weapons that's grade. Correct. Okay, let's begin. How, what, how are we doing on time? Because I know we. Ed clock is correct. All right. All right. Let's begin with a little something soft, something but intricate, interesting. Oh, well, okay. Start Astronomers off. Astronomers have discovered what they say is the most Earth-like planet yet detected. No, oh, really. A distant, rocky world that's similar in size to our own. And exists in the Goldilocks zone Goldilocks. of the Milky Way, where it's not too hot and not too cold for life. 
I would I would name the first three planets in the in the Goldilocks zone. You're dripping. The three bears. Bear number one. Bear Did you get a rubber thing for that thing yet? Oh, it needs a gasket. Gasket. All right, go ahead. So I'll do it. I'll this do is the best case for a habitable planet yet found. The results are absolutely rock solid. Rock solid. The planet was detected by NASA's orbiting Kepler telescope. Oh, this replaced the... Uh... No, the Kepler is, I think, closer to Earth than the... Than uh, the Hubble. The Hubble. Which studies the heavens for subtle changes in brightness that indicate an orbiting planet is crossing in front of a star. From those changes, scientists can calculate a planet's size and make certain inferences about its makeup. The new found object, named Kepler 186F, circles a red dwarf star 500 light years from Earth in the constellation Cygnus. The constipation Cygnus. Okay. A light year is almost six trillion miles. So 500 si times six trillion. The Starship Enterprise could not go there. Wow. Okay. Neither could Voyager. The planet is about 10% larger than Earth and may very well have liquid water, a key ingredient for life on its surface, scientists said. Interesting. Uh, they are starting to find a lot more of planets, yes. planets with water on it. And, and, um, if there's water well, I don't know if they found water yet on any one of them. What about the, the one of the moons of Saturn they found? Uh, I don't think they found water. They found that, just like on Mars, that the possibility that there would be water. Yeah, I know some planets are very gaseous, like uh, like uh, Jupiter. And yeah, they fart all day. They have like there's Venus. A, there's there's a main yeah a lot of Taco Bells uh, on on Jupiter. <laughs> and, no, but I'm seriously. Uh, um, in other words. There, there are atmospheres. Whatever little there is, there may, there might be some H two O water, and there might be some bacteria. But that doesn't mean they can support human life. Well, yeah, I, supposedly our atmosphere began somewhat like that. Also, it took you know millions I, and millions of years to uh, quiet down and. Become uh, well. You needed the plants and everything to become oxygenated. Number one. Yeah. And they well, have, algae was most likely the first plant, you know, and uh, or uh, no, it could have been uh, those uh, no eyes things at the bottom of the ocean. Yeah. Those What's a primitive? A uh, ferns, primitive. lichens, lichens, ferns. You know, uh, chances know, are, if NASA has the technology to colonize other planets most likely they're, they're there to uh, rape the planet of its natural resources to provide if you're going to colonize a planet is an oxygen atmosphere or you need that you know and you ain't going to do that on the moony remember nah. that uh, what was that uh, television program uh, uh, something 1999 about the moon they had a colony on the moon yeah, but even if you had a colony on the moon, what about the meteor showers? Uh, the, all, all the meteors and asteroids that hit the moon, you know, you'll be you'll, you'll be wiped out. <laughs> I don't think that was part of their, you know, when they colonized the moon. No, it was part of, you know, it was meant that they survive as part of the show. I think it was Space 1999. Yes. And it, and it had a, uh, a, a uh, well-known actor as the lead character. I forget his name at this time. It was a moon base. They called yes. it a moon base, right? It was a moon base, right. 
Well, you a moon base could be um, like that. Uh, uh, what is it? Biosphere that they had in Arizona. Well, that's obviously what it was. They they had an atmosphere inside the building. A biosphere, and they had. Um, not they had like uh, hydroponic gardens, and mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it could be done. It could be done, but but you know, like I said, those craters on the moon are not there for nothing. You know. So anyway, moving, moving. It is along. quite evident that, and this is describing another letter. The writer has little understanding of the true intent of the voter ID laws or of their consequences. Mm -hmm. When one examines exactly who becomes disenfranchised from the voting rolls, it is routinely people of color, the elderly, the working poor, and other challenged groups who tend to vote Democratic. That's why Scott Walker uh, took away the porta potties, right? Yeah, no, and people in standing in line will not be allowed to go to the bathroom. Therefore, they, they'll go home. Exactly. They, 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 they'll or leave piss the, their pants, one or the other. They'll leave the polls. <laughs> and uh, they won't vote. And, 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 and the masses have a tendency to vote in their best interest, which is uh, Democrat, and all the nuts vote Republican. So, um, <laughs> so they either have to wear the pens or whatever, you know, when they want to go vote. You know what? Your vote, your vote, if it's not for a Republican, is extremely important. Where the depends. Just don't tell anybody. <laughs> I'm serious. Or, or make sure you don't drink any fluids at least uh, an hour before you go and vote. And make sure you're pissed before you leave the house. That too. Get it all out. As my father and mother used to say when we used to make a trip from Pennsylvania to New Jersey, go before we go. Go now before we go and 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 you know keep your fluids to a minimum whilst in the car especially if you're in a position like if you're sitting in a stadium watching a sports uh -huh. event oh because you don't want to be having under, a five dollar beer yeah you don't want to be getting up saying eh, excuse me oh excuse me sorry about that oh excuse me i gotta get by her uh, and then you know and, and by the time you get to the men's room or if you're on a trip or in this case if you need to vote out Republicans yeah. out of the Congress don't have any fluids and for the hell of it just wear the depends and piss before you leave the house however there's another way stop St uh, Scott and Scott Walker and all the other stand Republican up to them. government exactly exactly Additionally, the writer questions how these people own homes. The Democrats need to grow some balls and stand up for this. And stand up to Walker. Have jobs. And enroll in college and the like. The answer is that many of these individuals do not have the resources to own homes or go to college. Some have no jobs. Or are disabled or retired. Virtually all of these people live at or below the poverty level, and every dollar is pinched twice. Yeah. The writer further contends that people should purchase passports when it is painfully obvious that people who do not have the means to travel or own a vehicle are not going to obtain a passport or a license. As to the claim about the ease of getting birth certificates, Using e-files, many of these individuals do not own a computer and have access to none. In cases of the elderly, many of these individuals never had birth certificates from the start. And what about in our lovely state here, Hudson County, which you can't even get a stinking birth certificate because really? there ain't none. Really? Due to corruption and etc. Many of the groups being targeted have voted for 50 plus years without a problem. Voter ID laws are clearly designed for one political party, only an attempt to narrow the playing field. The system is rigged, people. The system is rigged. It's rigged.
What's up, Doc? Oh, that's it? System is rigged? Yeah, that's it. The whole damn thing is rigged. <laughs> and they want to rig it more. They that's want what to the voter ID crap is all about. They want to rig it so much that uh, we, you know, they, they will end up eating just rigatoni. It'll Look, be so rigged. The, the facts of the matter are this, very simply. There are more Democrats that vote than Republicans. So any time or way that the Republicans that. can limit the amount of people voting, it's in their interest. Well, yeah, because, and that's what it's all because, about. Because you have uh, uh, women, minorities, uh, young people, poor people. You have a lot of people who do vote Democrat because if they didn't, they what wouldn't have. They, they have? wouldn't get any social service. They wouldn't get any social services or any help, and their social security will be cut, and blah blah blah. No, no, no health care, and no this, and no that, and no welfare, exactly. and, and and no food stamps, and nothing. Exactly. And they know it, so they vote traditionally. The the masses vote uh, Democrat. That's correct. That's correct. So the and and the Republicans, they like to get they like to get voters voting for them. For who knows what reason? Because they have no policies. None. No solutions either. Oh, they hate Obamacare, but they have no replacement. They have nothing to give you in yeah. in, in return for getting rid now, of it. Now you see what happens when Democrats And they don't want to improve it. You see what happens when Democrats try to um, compromise with Republicans like Barack Obama did with Obamacare. Correct. It, the private sector is is very much involved with Obamacare. You know, exactly. health insurance companies. And it, there's no single payer uh, a public option here. You know, and uh, that's a compromise. But even if you compromise with Republicans, it's not good enough for them. You see what I mean about this bipartisanship compromising bullshit? They don't want to compromise. They have no interest in compromising. No. Compromise to them is weakness on the other part. Weakness. And this is why I tell people you you got to roll up your sleeves and fight dirty with them because they they don't believe in an even playing field. No. Republicans. No. I don't know. We got time for one more or two more? I think so. Before break. A little uh a light one here. Another light one? Having to do with sexuality. Oh, alright, no, it could be good. My roommates and I, this is from Amy Dickinson, by the way. Amy Dickinson? The other Dear Abby. Dickinson? Yeah. Okay, she's talking about... Dick in Sun. Ooh. An incestuous reference. Yeah, alright, mm -hmm. let's see what she has to say. My roommates and I have breakfast together on the weekend. Your columns keep us entertained. We play amateur psychologist and come up with our own answers before reading yours. That's what you usually do when you pay the, the shrink at a hundred dollars an hour or more. Now you come I come up have, with your own answers. I have a dilemma to share. Ah. A very casual acquaintance of mine, Patricia randomly sent me the following message recently. Casual acquaintance. This is, this is a quote from Patricia. This is completely inappropriate, but what the hell? Uh -oh. I enjoy analyzing and talking about dreams. In my dreams, I have sex with a whole slew of random people. She's a wannabe slut, porno, porno actress. Now, Amy has taken out, redacted, much of the rest of the email for our benefit. Well, for our benefit, actually, it would be to leave the damn thing in there so we can make our decisions about it. Hmm? All right. Mm -hmm. In my dreams, this is Patricia speaking again, I've had nocturnal relations with you. Sounds like something she wants to experiment with. At least three times. Uh-oh. In the past year. Including 
last night. She wants to do a little carpet munching. We were in an old study on an English estate. It's like a hall pass to do anything without repercussions. No, I'm not hitting on you. No, not much. This strange phenomenon just inspired me to say hi. Yeah. Life is so enjoyably weird sometimes. Enjoyably weird, huh? Amy, this is not Patricia speaking anymore. Amy, I'm a single man. And she is in a long-term relationship with a guy I know. How should I respond? Or should I respond at all? I'm not sure what to think. Uh, since it's a dream, and uh, she's, uh, she is, uh, um, uh, she's revealing her desire and using the dream as an excuse to uh, maybe, to maybe get a point across. To maybe her. you know it sounds like it, or maybe it's just a dream. Maybe really. A lot it. of dreams are something that you must work on, something that you are not, you know, working on in life or something, and it's bothering you. How do or we know? Or some dreams are just dreams, like Freud said. Sometimes a cigar is just a cigar. That's true. How do we know she really dreamt these things? How do I? How do we know she's not lying and just using the dream as an excuse, you know, to blame it on the dream so she doesn't get offended? Maybe this is coming out of her conscious mind. Maybe she wants to partake in a little carpet munching. Maybe she does. Maybe, maybe she wants to partake in a little carpet munching with her friend there. Yeah, may could be, could be. Here's Amy's answer. <clears throat> Life is weird. And guess what makes it weird? Her. People. People. And, and that includes you. <laughs> Your acquaintance starts her message to you by saying, this is completely inappropriate. And she says but that what the hell? And she's, but what the hell? And she says it anyway. Yeah. Do you care about the appropriateness of this behavior? I think you do. She also says she is not hitting on you. Do you believe her? No. I think you don't. I find this creepy uh. and stalkerish and agree with your basic bewilderment as you ponder what to do. Well, it's, 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 uh, 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 is there, is there a, um, a psychological point to the article at the end? Not responding is an option. Yeah. But she might take that as an invitation to further share her horrifying dream journal. If you don't want this contact, you should respond. Quote, this is definitely not cool. Well, and I don't enjoy or appreciate. Unquote. Uh, all right, so, uh. Then, you should maintain Radio silence. Okay, so um, the um, what point would you like to make about this uh, this comment? Uh, well, the point I would make Patricia. on it is uh, I would I would uh, probably discuss it. I wouldn't find it inappropriate, though, frankly. Well. You know? Well, I would find it fodder to find out much more, and maybe see exactly well, what this chickaroonie well, is up to. It, ta it does take two to do to dance the tango. That's correct. You can and, always and it, say no. And, and if one person is not bisexual, they can always say no. They can always say no. What the hell do they have to you? be bisexual about? It's a woman. No, wait, wait. The other it's person a, is a male. Yes. Oh, oh. I, was, I was under the assumption. Okay, uh, well, uh, the man should be, uh, first of all, the, uh, regardless of what the woman looks like, Patricia, right? Yeah. Who, had, who was Wait saying, a who what had the dream? Looks Who's the one who had the dream? Was her. It? Who's her, Patricia? Yes. Okay, regardless of what Patricia looks like, the man should feel flattered no. and say, thank you for uh, 
thinking of me in that light, in that way, but uh, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm with some, seeing somebody, you know, and I, I, no thank you. Thank you, but no thank you, and just let it go at that, and take it as a compliment. Well, now, yeah, what if the man, what if, wait a minute, wait a minute, what if the man is offended, he's a wuss, he's a wimp, he's yes, spineless. Yes, exactly, yeah, that's not going to solve anything. He's spineless. Because a, a real man would take something like that, of a woman coming on to him as a compliment, a as Wait a compliment, a regardless what Wait. she looks like. Wait a if second. she's ugly, of course, you, you should still say thank you. I'm flattered, but no thank you. All right, go ahead. We're making I'm done. a big assumption. She's not. She may not be coming on to him. You as I said, sometimes a cigar is just a cigar. So you think you think it's that a dream. you think there's a possibility that it, it might be a dream. Yes. Uh, or then again, she might be lying and she wants to get into his pantaloonies. Sometimes. Yeah, she wants sometimes. to get into his pantaloonies. But we don't know that, though. But we don't know we if it's real. We have to find that out. That's why I said not responding is not an option. Because you're not going to find anything what else. What are you going to put her on? A polygraph test to find out if it's really a no, dream? No, all you need to do is speak about it. Now, I know, I know that uh, uh, people and etc., who had no interest whatsoever. Lulu. No interest whatsoever. Yeah. In sexuality with uh, different uh, wives of different guys or whatever. And yet they would dream about that. Yeah. It's so, a yeah. fantasy. It's a fantasy. But it may not be. That's what I'm saying. Sometimes a cigar is just a cigar. What does that mean? That means that sometimes the dream has nothing to do with the sexuality of the other person. You mean there's himself. another underlying... Ah, bingo! There might be a other, another underlying uh, psychological meaning. There is a problem which has not, what has, is not being allowed into your uh, 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 daytime thoughts and it's under the, it's under the ground working. And maybe, you need to work on may, it. Maybe there were other Solve dream. It. Maybe there were other connective dreams subconsciously that the person uh, Patricia may uh, may not remember when she wakes up. That would explain further the dream that she remembered. In other words, well, that wouldn't do any good because you don't remember the dream. Right, <laughs> right, right. You know, the ones you remember usually have a strong message. But but uh, sometimes a cigar is just a cigar. Is that what uh, Bill Clinton told Monica Lewinsky? No, Bill Clinton told Monica Lewinsky that sometimes a cigar is a cack. <laughs> and he used it as such. You said a cack? Cack, yes. Oh. Cocky doo doo doo! <laughs> okay, uh, are you ready for lunch? Yes, yes or no? Am. Yes, yes we, are, we are going to take a break. It is time for the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman's gastronomic delight known as lunch. And we will be followed by, right after we take a break we are going or I am going right to William H Morrow the third our voiceover artist to meet with him and we have uh, we will have a show with him myself and William H Morrow uh, mm -hmm. and then followed by our promotion which is our commercial and then we will return back to this happy pagan, happy pagan Ishtar oh. Easter show Ishtar, Astarte, the Queen of Heaven. Yeah, yes, you know. including oh. Earth, Earth Day. Oh. Earth Day. Gaia. What do you call somebody? Uh, yes, Gaia. Gaia gets her revenge. Mm. That's right. Well, look at climate change and global warming. Mm. All right. Okay, we are now here with William H. Morrow, the third hour uh, voice over artist. And um, I know we did not see him uh, in, in a two weeks because he has been away on a business trip. And I think he took a little vacation in a resort. For sure, just to get away. Just to get away. Uh, okay, well, uh, for this show, uh, for the title and topic of this show with William H. Morrow, he's going 
going to read a quote from a very popular American actor. Woody Harrelson. Woody Harrelson. Yes, very important quote. Every year tens of thousands of animals suffer and die in laboratory tests of cosmetics and household products, despite the fact that the test results do not help prevent or treat accidental or purposeful misuse of the products. Please join us in using your voice for those whose cries are forever sealed behind the laboratory doors. And this is so important, everyone. Yes, it is, because every day, God knows how many multitudes of animals are abused. Well, I'm one of those. I don't believe in animals. Not only are they abused by, by, by so-called pet owners, but also tortured and abused in, in laboratory experiments for unnecessary, unimportant products like cosmetics. This is, this is insane. And, and I don't believe you hurt, have to hurt a living thing to test your product. I do believe in these test companies where they pay people, come in willingly, sign a release form, and they pay you fairly well. They tell you how long it will take and they test the product on you. There's nothing wrong with that. They're even testing dogs in some cases, I hear him. Uh, primates, uh, rabbits, and uh, I, I mean... I, I don't agree with I've, animals I've seen videos, I've, no. seen, I've seen photos. No, I'm sorry. It's, it's, it's heartbreaking. No. Just, if this is just to clean, keep your hair clean, for example, then I'd rather we all go around with dirty hair, okay? But to hurt an animal, no, I am not for it at all. Not one bit. It's got to stop. There has to be better ways. With today's electronics and everything we know, there are better ways to test what works and what doesn't. Molecular structures and what have you. Hire some humans, pay them well, test it on them, and then you go. But don't abuse animals. Yeah. Don't do this. It's wrong. And some people do not deserve to have pets at all. Some people, some people are don't sick. deserve to have children at all. No. Some people don't deserve to be in public at all. Let's be honest yeah. here, okay? You've got nut jobs out here. I mean, I, I see folks... That folk lady in Utah, okay? So we won't get into all yeah. this, but here's another example. I mean, I've seen photos of animals with their ribs sticking, dogs with this their ribs sticking out, this starving to death. This is wrong. They showed a picture of some guy out west, a, guy, a young man in his... Um, in his early 20s from Arizona he beat he almost beat his little pit bull puppy to death Let me ask you another thing. why are the penalties for animal abuse so mild that's true why is an animal's life less than a human's oh because it's an animal oh. no no oh, they feel they emotion need, just like a, they need much more stringent and strict penalties for abusing animals I mean there is no justification in, well, can you answer in that beating a puppy. No, there is not. You're right. You're right. But why, why are the penalties so basically minor? Why? Because humans are so arrogant. They think their their life entity, their another, life is more important. part of our legal system not working well. I guess so. I guess not. I don't go for it. I mean, it's it, it, to to allow to uh, to neglect dogs where they're they're living in feces, they're starving to death, or they're beaten, or the or the dog fight. Or dog when fight. a guy, when a guy, uh, somebody's. <coughs> Cat or dog has a litter, they put it in a bag and throw it out. Like it's disposable. Yeah. I don't understand this. They they showed uh, if I was a judge, oh, I'd be a bitch on wheels. I'll give you an example. There's a there's a video out and the person who took the video, in my opinion, is an accomplice because he took the vi he was friends with the girl. There was a blonde, a young blonde female who supposedly her mother told her to get rid of the puppies and she went to a nearby uh, brook and proceeded to throw the puppies into the brook. Into the brook or it, so I can, personally, to I can, drown. I can kill somebody like that. Yeah. I really could. I really could. Did she? She she did. She threw the puppies one by one into the into the into the brook. Is she proud of herself? Probably. Somebody like that has no heart and doesn't really care. Well, we call them sociopaths. I call them non-humans. Yeah, like when somebody when somebody does wicked things with no remorse. Non-human. It's non-human. Non-human. You have the organs of a human, but not the emotions. Nah, you're scum to me. Yeah. You're, you're, if you died, nobody would miss you. Nobody would care. People would cheer your death yeah. because of what you've done to hurt other living organisms, beings, what have you. Yeah. Nah, you die. Seriously, that's simple. It says, I have no remorse if you die, if you hurt an animal or did things like this. Nah. 
I mean, animals deserve some rights. Some? No, they deserve... Why not the same rights? They deserve rights that they don't have. Same rights as we have. Yeah. It's a living creature. And yeah, you get the, the, the arguments of where do we draw the line? You know, bugs and you know we're not we're talking about mammals here and everything. We feel emotion, about yeah. That cry, feel love, mm -hmm. pain. Go know. after them. You know, you cats, need, dogs. You need some good hanging judges out there that really give out stricter sentences. Make people afraid of harming animals. You know, I don't agree with this hurting animals like this. Don't I am not for it one bit. It's it's really it's really totally uncalled for for a civilized society. We're not a civilized society. We give it the term, but are we really? Let's be honest here, okay? Well, they've already How civilized are we? They've already established that we're we're living in a in a sort of fascist society now. Uh, we're going back and we're getting worse. And, uh, uh, I was talking to the gentleman this morning. When I was in school, you settled any argument with your fists on the school playground after school in one or two minutes. You never heard of bombs being brought in or knives or guns. Never. Not once. Now that's all you hear of. Nobody fights anymore. They throw bombs or shoot your cut here. Yeah. So, 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 so what, what, what's that mean? Society as a whole. Is that progress? No. Okay. It's almost like society as a whole is de evolving, de evolution of society. Things go around. Things get worse. Things get better. They get worse again. Hey, it, happened, it, the it happened with the Roman Empire, with the they Greeks. They were a lot longer than the United States. And, there was and they a, fell, didn't they? And there was a deterioration with them? They fell. They had backstab will. Play on words, backstab. A lot of stabbing back then. There was corruption oh, back corruption. then. corruption. They killed their own family members. They were insane. Same with the Egyptians. You know many, many of the uh, popes of the, of the Roman Catholic Church of the past were horrible, evil dictators. That, that committed atrocities. There's a, there's a few of them in the past that were really bad, and the, these are popes. Yeah, yeah. Well, a lot of churches they've torn down in the past, they found the uh, skeletal remains of uh, newly born infants. Yeah. Meaning the, the priests and what have you were having sex with the nuns or what have you. So, you know, because you wear the cloth, don't think you're above everyone else. You're still a human being under it all. No one should be above the law. I mean, I'm not saying this to be funny either. you still squat to go to the bathroom and the whole and you like put your pants up. on one leg oh, oh, you're still a human being you have the same desires and the sinisterisms as well so don't think you're better because you're a member of the so-called flock now yeah I mean really I get tired of the uh, the hypocrisy and then you hear with doctors too uh, you take the Hippocratic oath how many abuse it yes I think an awful lot maybe the majority adhere to it. But you have so many who do abuse it. Well, they look, you know, look how they ripped somebody, off Medicare. You turn somebody away because of, yeah, well, that, the rip-offs. But you turn somebody away because they don't have the money. I, if I was a doctor, I could... No. You turn nobody away. You know, ever. some surgeons will actually perform surgery on a child for free mm -hmm. if the child's parents were poor. You've got a lot of great charitable organizations that fly around the world helping these kids. Yeah. The cleft palates and deformities and what have you. So you can't say they're all bad. You yeah. can't say they're all good. Cops. Firemen, you can't say they're all bad. Yeah. So every profession has good and bad. That's what human human nature. Sad. That's the human being. Right. Now my question to uh, they had some information about a famous prosperity TV evangelist uh, who's always talking about you know how God can make you rich, right? Well, yeah. If but, you're he, out, yeah. but he never he never admits to giving any of his millions to help poor starving children or well, anybody. Well, he doesn't admit. A lot of them uh, behind the scenes they do. And I'm, I would bet that he does. I don't know. I'm not sure who you're talking about, but I would. Well, I was referring to Joel Olstein. Oh, I bet he gives a lot away. I, I would bet that he does. He has such a fake, saccharine, sweet smile on his face. Personally, I like the man very much. I would bet that he does give a lot away. I really would. You know, I hope he does. I hope so. You know, so I hope I he mean, does, and I think he does. I, I have no proof, 
but I think he does, I would bet he does. Yeah. You know, I, mean, I like uh, the man myself. I mean, it wouldn't shock me if they didn't, but uh, hopefully they do. But uh, but anyway, getting back to animals, it's really heartbreaking to see these videos and photos. It's it, it's it, words alone cannot describe the videos and photos of the suffering and the and, uh, and the. And the uh, but well, then again, you hear the stories about charitable organizations. If you give to them, how much of your dollar is being given to this? What is being done? I heard two cents with one. Uh, oh, see, come on, that should be okay. One company, I mean, a quarter, a quarter, tw a ten cents. Even, fi even fifty cents is not enough on a dollar. Yeah, and, and why? And no. why does these so-called administrative fees have to be like like ninety percent of the dollar? Because they don't have to be. It's just a lie. They're pocketing it's the money. Service, that's all. Yeah, administrative. Of fees. It's like shipping and handling. You guys are getting paid per hour. What do you mean per unit being paid this much? Why is it called shipping and handling? What's the handling? I don't know. You're shipping it. You, of course you have to handle it. You have to pick it up, put it in a box, tape it, and send it. You're still getting the same per hour no matter how many units they use. Of course. So that's just more profit for them. Yeah. That's how some of these companies make. But wait, we'll give you not one but two for the price of one. All, all you have to do is pay separate shipping and handling because that's almost free money. You want Instead of putting one in a box, yeah. the guy just gets it. takes an extra, let's see, 30 seconds, put another one in a box, and bam. That's free money. They, so it's out, they get paid by the hour, hourly rate. Shipping and handling. You want to hear something funny? Some government agencies will let you pay online with your debit card, pay your fees, but guess what they have? They have this new thing now. They call it a convenience charge for using your credit card or debit card online. A convenience Convenience charge. charge. Where, like, if you buy something online, there is no such convenience charge. Why is the government involved in, in, in investigating and checking out these so called surcharges that are fake? Yeah, that's what I mean. They're saying, wait a minute, the BS stops. No more. No. You have to be upfront and legit I mean, at all times. Convenience, it's the way of the world now, is to do it online, Conven to they pay just online. New words to everything, new phrases. No. It's new phrases, that's all it is. Convenience charge. It's BS. And they're probably laughing at their cocktail parties about everything. We're screwing everybody off and they buy it. They believe it. So it's a convenience for them. It's a convenience for them. For them. It's, so they're allowing you to use your credit card online. Yeah. Meanwhile, when you buy yeah. something online, there's no convenience charge. But if you're paying a bill for, for, with the government, it's a convenience charge. Shipping and handling. Shipping and handling. Or if it's an infomercial, for easy payments of twenty nine ninety five. But wait. But it's easy. Oh, wait. Order within the next five minutes, we'll knock off one payment. That's only three payments. Normally, you're getting, yeah. this is a, a $200 that's a, value. That's a saving well. Savings of how many millions of dollars? How could, how could a $200 value cost you only thirty nine ninety five. dollars If you don't like it, you send it back. We'll still let you keep the so-and-so free thing they send you or whatever. Yeah, and don't, don't hold yeah. your breath uh, for the money. Yeah, I wonder. I, I did wonder. that one time. I, years ago, I ordered something from QVC or the Home Shopping Network or whatever, and it, and it was it said um, Brazilian Aquamarine, and it showed it on TV, and it was a beautiful, like, uh, turquoise or light turquoise stone when it came in it looked nothing like the one on television why isn't that called fraud it looked like it was cloudy and scratchy why isn't that fraud? It's, to me it was it and so they said send it back you know how long I had to badger them for my money I did it with a company years ago with a, uh, a phone service for my cell phone I got a great price and it was one of I hate I don't believe in mail-in rebates I said why don't you do it right here right I said, I need to make sure I have this. I said, you're playing the odds. And most people won't mail it in. Make sure I have the receipt, I have the date of purchase, I have to cut off the UBC code. Because you're playing the odds, most people, number one, can't be bothered, the majority. Number two, you'll lose something, won't have everything to send in. It took me a little over five months to get my rebate. So that's, that's, a, that's like a phony sale, a it's phony bump. They're, they're gambling. They're playing the odds. They realize the majority of people can't be bothered. Almost like certain tickets had a bogus. They realize it's the odds. Most people say, I don't have time for this. I'm just going to pay the ticket. 
I can't go to court. I have no time for this. They're playing the odds. They're gambling. One time, my, my sister-in-law gave me, uh, for Christmas, gave me gift cards to a specific chain of stores. Well, anyway, I put them in my drawer, dresser drawer, and I, I used them at a later date. You know what the store told me? They expired. Did it I said, that expiration date on the card? Um, in, in very fine print, but I says, let me ask you a question. If there's an expiration date on the car, on the gift cards, why are they gift cards? It, like, it's, people are paying money. Why should it expire? Like, it should only expire if you go out of business. It's $50. It's it, money already you have. Right. So it should only expire if you go out of business. Yeah. Why give us a certain so, date? So my, 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 my uh, brother and sister-in-law paid cash, $50 or whatever it was for the gift cards. So the gift cards is a, is a gift of, of cash if you spend it at that store. Already paid. Already paid for. So why does it expire? It's a scam. It's a scam. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. You know what? That's a wrap. Uh, William H. Moore the third. We're all animal lovers, and uh, and we and we and sit, we demand that there should be equal rights for animals because there's too much suffering going on. And uh, thank you for being with us. Thanks, everybody. This has been a Mega Life 21 production. Hi, this is William Morrow. Are you one of those people who join a health club, and after they have your big overpriced annual membership, you notice that you're on your own with little or no results, even after all the promises? Then the website personal trainer is for you. Thank you very much, William H. Morrow III. So you lost another argument with a conservative right-wing Republican. He talked over you. He screamed and yelled. He brought out the Bible. He thumped it. He quoted scripture to you. You were lost because you came at him with facts. Nothing but facts. And you expected that that would... Uh, that would make you look good. That would make you win the argument, but it didn't. You know why you lost the argument? You know why you're going to lose your next argument? Because you don't read censored. Censored, a 30-year-old newsletter that shows you how to defeat a conservative. Read censored, and you'll have all the ammunition you need. Every time you get into an argument with a right-wing conservative uh, so-called Christian. Censored. That's, That's all, all you, you need. need. Read, Read it. it. And, and defeat a conservative. Greetings, listeners. Let me speak to you for a moment about the foundation of our entire organization, Newsletter Censored. It was founded by our mentor, the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman, in 1977. It discusses the five taboos of American life, politics, religion, health, human sexuality, and child rearing. You won't find anything like this in the mainstream media and the press. It reveals the kind of truth that most people are afraid to hear. Can you handle it? We are living in the end times, so in order to defeat a conservative and save America, you need Newsletter Censored. Go to www.newslettercensored.com, click on the printable order form page, and with your gift to support this work, get your free annual subscription. This is James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21, the hardest hitting internet talk radio station on the planet. Hi, this is William Morrow. Are you one of those people who join a health club? And after they have your big overpriced annual membership, you notice that you're on your own with little or no results, even after all the promises? then the website personal trainer is for you. Thank you very much, William H. Morrow III. So you lost another argument with a conservative right-wing Republican. He talked over you. He screamed and yelled. He brought out the Bible. He thumped it. He quoted scripture to you. You were lost because you came at him with facts. Nothing but facts. And you expected that that would, uh, that would make you look good, that would make you win the argument, but it didn't. 
You know why you lost the argument? You know why you're going to lose your next argument? Because you don't read censored. Censored, a 30-year-old newsletter that shows you how to defeat a conservative. Read censored, and you'll have all the ammunition you need. Every time you get into an argument with a right-wing conservative, uh, so-called Christian. Censored, that's all you need. Read it, and defeat a conservative. Greetings, listeners. Let me speak to you for a moment about the foundation of our entire organization, Newsletter Censored. It was founded by our mentor, the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman, in 1977. It discusses the five taboos of American life, politics, religion, health, human sexuality, and child rearing. You won't find anything like this in the mainstream media and the press. It reveals the kind of truth that most people are afraid to hear. Can you handle it? We are living in the end times, so in order to defeat a conservative and save America, you need Newsletter Censored. Go to www.newslettercensored.com, click on the printable order form page, and with your gift to support this work, get your free annual subscription. This is James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21, the hardest hitting internet talk radio station on the planet. Okay, we are back. Thank you uh, very much, William H. Morrow III, for meeting with me, our um, official uh, voiceover artist. It was a great show, and uh, of course, just like our commercial says, the very best way to be a part of our organization and join our organization is to get your free annual subscription to Newsletter Censored with your gift to support this work. Go to NewsletterCensored.com now. Now, I forgot to add one more um, chiseler. chiseler to the Chiseler's Hall of Shame. And um, this is a famous chiseler, a very wealthy chiseler, mm -hmm. a very large chiseler. But... Uh, a it, chis chiseler nonetheless. A chiseler nonetheless, but it's like a combination of a ch being a chiseler and being just downright disgusting. Ooh. McDonald's. Everybody yeah. knows McDonald's. Guess what I found out recently? That the government, which is I guess what, the USDA, the FDA, the government is yep. allowing McDonald's to add worm meat. Ah! to its hamburger uh, patty mixture, to its beef, to stretch the beef, because they're too damn greedy, too damn cheap to give you 100% uh, a choice beef, so they got to stretch it with worm meat, and of course the McDonald's advertisements do not tell you that there's worm meat or pink slime in their burgers, they don't tell you because they're deregulated. Just like uh, f food companies in America do not have to tell you that they are, there is genetically modified food in the can or the package, you know. Or refer that there's no food. Yeah, that there's that no... it's crap. It's total crap, poison Come shit. Come on, they're feeding crap to our animals. They're feeding shit to the animals. You mean uh, when, when they mention the word byproducts? Byproduct is what they're what pink slime what's what could be in the pink slime hamburgers too that they're given to uh, uh, school cafeterias that our uh, you know Kids. America's children are eating yeah with ammonia to disinfect it and, and byproducts could be anything it could be once you pate something once you grind up something it, it could be anything mm -hmm. it could be roadkill it, it could be diseased meat um, but. Um, yeah, worm meat, and 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 uh, and the government allows them not to tell you there's worm meat in the burger. I wonder why it's always things done in favor of the corporation rather than the individual. Yeah, isn't it the individual who votes in the politician? 
Yeah. Or and buys the products of the corporation. Isn't it the the yeah. mainstream that buy, that that keeps them going? Uh -huh. The lifeblood of the economy, the lifeblood and, of their and, profit, and is responsible for them doing the right thing. The corporation. Yeah, but they want to lie to you and and hide the truth from you. Something in their interest, not yours. So once again, and I've done it many times before, McDonald's is added to the Chisler's Hall of Shame along with uh, uh, General Mills making Progresso soups and Smucker's natural peanut butter. Unless there's another company, which I should have wrote down, that makes Smucker's, I'm sure. You know, once corporate gets their hand on uh, family-owned businesses, mm -hmm. they go straight downhill. It happened with Polio Tropical out of, out of Miami. He sold out to a corporation, I think it's called the Carroll Corporation. The food is absolutely nowhere near as good as it was when the original Cuban owner owned the f fast food chain from South Florida. No comparison. Every time corporations get a hold of a food chain, they start cutting corners, they mm -hmm. start screwing you over, and uh, and they put out lying commercials about how much they care about you, the, mm -hmm. the customer. I thought their number one care was profit. Well, yeah, well, the CEO blames everything on the shareholders. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. We can't do things right because we got to make profit for the shareholders. And well, if you can't do things right, you know what? You shouldn't be in business. You shouldn't be in business. You fa if, you, if you're meant to fail, if you're meant to, you're meant to go belly up, then that's the way the crab cake crumbles. Exactly. In capitalism. Exactly. Remember, folks, it's never. It has never been and, and will never be trickle-down economics. It is, you see this, siphon up to the 1%, to the elitist economics. Siphon, could you, get, could you see the whole siphon? Oh, yeah. I don't know. Siphon up economics. Never trickle-down. And to okay. add to that, if you have businesses that need grants, need subsidies, need tax breaks, well, those businesses are telling you something. Right. They're inefficient, they're not doing well, and they should not exist. Let them go belly up. And let small companies. Let the workers take over. And let some honest small companies take over the industry. Exactly. That's capitalism. Hey, hey, honest small. I mean, look, honest. Creative destruction. Honest small companies and entrepreneurial small companies, they can have very qualified engineers working for them too. They can have uh, uh, superior management working for them also. You know, and great workers. I mean, just because they're a big blue chip company, that's totally greedy and, and corrupted. That, that that doesn't mean they could do a job better or make a better product? I well, mean, obviously they're not doing the job well if they need subsidies, grants, and tax uh, uh, cuts. That's the point. I mean, look at the look at the kitchen appliance and the food processing industry. For, for decades, the best was always uh, Vitamix. It cost three to four hundred dollars, but they had the market as far as quality. They nobody nobody came close to Vitamix. Uh, better than even much better than Cuisinart. Then the Ninja came around, and they compared the Ninja in every way to Vitamix, and they beat out Vitamix mm -hmm. for a lot less money. For a hundred dollars, you can get a, a, a nin, Ninja Pro. It blows away Vitamix. So if you're big, don't get cocky. Don't sit back and rest on your laurels. Because somebody else is going to come along. Look what look what happened with Apple and, and versus IBM. What about Maytag? The poor Maytag repairman has no nothing to do. Nothing to do. Oh yeah, I he remember. He sits that. around all day long. Well, because the machines are so good. I don't know. These days, I don't think. I don't think. I think with with built-in uh, obsolescence. Yes. 
they're designed to uh, to break down early. You know, like you were telling me about that light bulb that's a hundred years old. Last week. Yep. You know, but um, but anyway, uh, let us sink our teeth back into these readings. For the for a uh, happy pagan Ishtar weekend. 2014 and Earth Day 2014. Okie dokie. What we need is an unbiased objective summary in layman's terms of what exactly the Patient Protection an Affordable Care Act is supposed to provide to the citizens of this great nation. That would be very useful in helping us understand the true cost of this massive piece of legislation that is roughly 2,800 pages long with 23 new taxes and some tax credits buried within it. Not to mention several hundred specific provisions and exceptions. I am a reasonably, a reasonably intelligent man, and I cannot understand what is fact and what is fiction. We should also discuss the increased level of bureaucracy created to administer this program, specifically the number and cost of additional internal revenue service agents and supervisory personnel and how health care is to be delivered to 40 million more people with the same number of physicians. I would also appreciate reporting not just on the number of sign-ups but how many people lost insurance coverage when the law came into effect. I am one of those. Finally, how does this law Dealing with about one-sixth of our economy, I would be fascinated by your thoughtful reporting on this along with how President Obama's pen and phone have helped our economy grow with his advocacy of equal pay for equal work and raising minimum wage to $10.10 per hour. Just how do either of these actions help put people back to work, grow our economy, and lower our $17.3 trillion debt, which by the way, equates to roughly $106,000 per working American. Hmm. Well, well, let me just say this. Obamacare was a Republican invention. Yeah, it's a Heritage Foundation. It's compromised, you know, the private industry. No, now that the Democrats put it into effect, the Republicans don't like it. They invented it. Well, the Democrats originally wanted the single payer uh, universal health care, which which what we should be having. Obamacare is just a compromise with Republicans. But well, even though, like 10 million Americans now have health insurance that, that they did not have before, and uh, from what I understand, it's, it's working great for low-income people because they didn't have anything before. Yeah, it's working great for, like, uh, children kept on the uh, policy for until age 26. It's working great for people Listen. who had pre-existing conditions. It's working great for Medicaid people because they are now covered, the Medicaid Pe Medicaid Listen, people. Yes. When I was signed up with uh, years ago, when I was signed up with the uh, the ADECO uh, staffing agency, you know, employment agency, they, they had a lot of temporary assignments and some some uh, temp temporary to permanent. They had uh, uh, insurance for people that work 40 hours a week from Aetna. I think it was called Aetna EPO, uh, if I'm not mistaken, but it was horrible. <laughs> it only paid like uh, $1,900 for the whole year. Ah. Something like, some ridiculous amount. It, it, it paid for shit. It paid for, you know, it's like, it, it paid 
eighty percent of dental but for God's sakes if you need a root canal and crown that's over a thousand dollars right uh -huh. there uh -huh. it, w it was ridiculous but now with Obamacare it pays a lot more than even that so it, 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 it's it's a it's a compromise that helps low-income Americans and the poor period it helps and uh, for um, there are clinics in um, in northeastern New Jersey I think I believe it's called North Hudson Community Action uh, Corporation North Hudson Community Action that they have a um, they take Obamacare they take Medicaid now they take health insurance but they also for undocumented immigrants they have a sliding scale system where you pay what you can afford and they had that before Obamacare actually so anyway there it, it, it's not bad it's better than what they had but in reality what we should have for all Americans is the single-payer public option universal health care bingo that's it period no. all right. <clears throat> a report a new report reveals for the first time that there is a direct link between belly fat and brain drain and how to stop it. Is that why um, all the teabagger rednecks uh, usually have uh, a lot of uh, have big bellies and not too much in the brain department? Well how about this guy in uh, where the hell is he with this uh, fight now with the feds? He's grazing on public land. You don't want to pay to graze his cattle on public land. This welfare cowboy. A welfare cowboy? Well, yeah. What do you call it? But what is he? What is he? What do you call it? If they, you're, he's supposed to pay rent well, what's on my land. Well, what's grazing? What kind of animal? Cattle. Oh, really? Not nothing small like go no, goats or cattle. He's been doing it for years and years. And he don't pay. So the feds went after him. Yeah, but what are they doing? And the, the militias came to his defense. Well, what do what 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 do the what does the uh the, the government do with the grass that grows on the public land? They they just let it grow or they cut it or they let it grow. Yeah, but what difference is But that? it's our land. The oil companies also during Mr. George W. Bush's tenure didn't pay their royalties on the oil they brought forth from our land. I understand what you mean. It is uh, our land. That's correct. They it's not the government. They land. forget so quickly about we the people. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Or that we the people are the government. Government is not some foreign alien thing. It's us. Mm -hmm. Okay? It's our royalties that right. he's holding out on and hasn't paid. Welfare cowboy. Okay? Let me continue here. Mm -hmm. We know that carrying extra pounds of belly fat raises your odds for dementia by a whopping 80%. But now, a well-designed lab study on mice has found that deep abdominal fat pours inflammatory chemicals into your bloodstream. Those chemicals can cross the blood-brain barrier, causing dementia. Until now, we thought the blood-brain barrier protected the brain's gray cells from this particular form of inflammatory assault. But it turns out, that compounds secreted by excess belly fat weaken this barrier. So fat triggered inflammation oozes into the brain, dumbing down your hippocampus, a relay station for memories, slowing mental processing, hindering recall, and allowing dementia to develop. Until now, 
Scientists weren't sure which came first, dementia or brain inflammation. There's a bright side, however. That's why the mouse study is really big news. Mm -hmm. The researchers say that if you put these creatures on a daily exercise program, it tamps down inflammation restores a strong blood-brain barrier and improves mental sharpness. Why believe a mouse study? Two reasons. In mice, the men, the blood-brain barrier acts very similarly. And number two, you can cause mice to pack on belly fat and then observe the effects. Mm -hmm. True, you can't be certain that things happen exactly the same way in human brains, but the evidence is strong enough for the study's lead researcher to suggest exactly what we suggest. Get moving, especially if you are carrying extra weight around your middle. So here are five ways to trim your tummy and have a leaner, more nimble brain. Mm -hmm. Number one, say yes to exercise. Everyone should do that. A 30 minute daily walk, plus 20 or 30 minutes of strength training twice a week, is a great start. You want to head for 10,000 total steps a day. Activity boosts levels of a brain and spinal cord protein called brain-derived neurotropic factor, which helps create new brain cells and healthy new connections between them. Mm -hmm. Exercise also helps two areas important for memory and emotional intelligence, the hippocampus and the anterior cingulate cortex to get bigger and better connected. Right. Number two. And here's where we run into a problem. Mm -hmm. Say no to palm and coconut oil. Oh, uh, no. Coconut oil is very medicinal. It is good for you, man. These tropical plants' oils, which contain saturated fat, have been at the center of debate for several years now, but a new study settles the spat. Lose them. You know what? This is what I hate about the mainstream media, is they, they're still listening to uh, the uh, American Dietetic Association, the medical profession, you know, uh, which backed by the drug companies, they're still demonizing all fats. And, and doc, the late great Dr. Robert C. Atkins, and maybe his mentor uh, Carlton Fredericks, he used to say the biggest deficiency in the United States is essential fatty acids. Mm. <clears throat> well, guess who is uh, uh, partaking of this particular article? Who? Dr. Mehmet Oz. That son of a bitch. And Mike Roizen, MD, Chief Wellness Officer and Chairman of the Wellness Institute at the Cleveland Clinic. Dr. Oz is a cardiac surgeon. He's a medical doctor. He is not a uh, clinical uh, medical nutritionist. Uh, he, he doesn't know uh, anything about um, holistic medicine. And uh, of course he's going to demonize all fats. I mean, if people never get heart disease, Dr. Oz loses a lot of money. Does, does, doesn't he? Since he's a, a surgeon, a cardiac surgeon, he put himself out of business. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of a, kind of a horrible way to uh, approach things, you know, and is to uh, is to hope that people need bypass surgery. 
It's very selfish. <laughs> anyway, back to these yeah. oils. They promote body fat in the worst possible spots. Your abdomen and your liver. Number three. Banish food felons that feed belly fat. Skip added sugars, syrups, refined grains such as white bread and white rice. Agree, agree. I agree. They are packed with empty calories. Wow. Well, that take your blood sugar on a roller coaster ride. That's true. Fueling cravings. Steer clear of trans fats. Agree. Partially hydrogenated oils found in some baked goods and other processed foods. Carcinogenic, dangerous, trans fats. Yeah. They just don't. They ju don't just send new fat to your belly. They make fat from other places land there too. That's true. And number four. Go for 100% whole grains and healthful odd omega fat. Odd. Getting three servings of whole grains, like 100% whole wheat bread, barley, or oatmeal, could slash belly fat by 10%. Oh, that's all? I think high fiber might even contribute more to losing excess fat. <clears throat> but but uh, only yeah. if you also limit refined grains to one serving or less per day using olive oil munching a few nuts sliding a sliced avocado yeah instead of cheese into your sandwich right. or seeds nuts seeds sunflower seeds you know pumpkin seeds yeah cheese but they're wrong about the uh, cheese the new ra the new rage what's Chia seeds Chia, expensive, Chia expensive as hell. Unfortunately, so yeah. far, so far. Mm -hmm. Let let them be around for a while. Actually, they've been around for like thousands of years. But uh -huh. let that let them be in the U.S. market longer. They'll come down in price. Um, but they're wrong about the um, the saturated fat of coconut oil. They're very wrong with that. Uh, even even ghee, which I consume. Is a, is a very medicinal according to Indian Ayurvedic medicine. Ghee is clarified butter. These contain odd omega fatty acids that encourage your body to store fat elsewhere. Nice trick. Good. Well, what the hell do you want to store it anywhere? Unless well, you're a woman. There's uh, good fats which do you good and there's the bad fats. I mean, um, uh, it's uh, sugar is the biggest culprit with uh, mm. body fat. Sugar and the, and the syndrome X, insulin resistance, the yo-yo syndrome. Um, but uh, coconut oil is fantastic for your health. Uh, um, it's just just because it's saturated that doesn't, That's the problem doesn't mean it's bad. That's the problem with officialdom, people from officialdom. They may get one or two things right, nutritionally or yeah. whatever, but then the rest of it, you can toss it out in the garbage. Yeah, yeah. I was having, I was bucking heads with this, uh, this uh, Indian doctor, young Indian uh, female at uh, Bergen Regional Medical Center in Paramus. She was mm. insisting that olive, even extra virgin olive oil was bad for you because <clears throat> we, we were only meant to consume the oil when it's in the plant or the fruit. Right. Once you take the oil from your food. Once you take the oil out of the olive, it's not natural. It, it's, it, it's bad for you. She was demonizing all fats. Mm. And I was trying to explain to her, but she, it didn't get through to her no, that, it uh, wouldn't. It wouldn't. that essential fatty acids are very important to health. <laughs> Number five, traveling, just busy, pack road food. A steady diet of fast food could increase ab fat by about 41% in just one month. 
A, a very good healthy road food would be uh, a roasted, dry roasted peanuts, sunflower seeds, and raisins to start. Or if you can tolerate them, I guess granola, a trail mix of some sort. You know? Well, you can make your own. Yeah. Yeah, you don't have to buy expensive trail mix. Um, uh, a granola would be uh, a, na a good natural granola, and I've made it. It's just simply you're dry roasting uh, um, oatmeal flake, yeah. flakes, um, rolled oats, and then you add, um, you can add some healthy oil to it, or, or, uh, or ghee, or... Um, uh, you can add a cold press healthy oil of your choice and you add a, a natural sweetener you know you can add uh, honey um, uh, xylitol. molasses or whatever yeah you can add uh, something that is not so bad you know uh, um, invest uh, in a good cooler and load it with a uh, fat fighting goodies like blueberries, cherries, Pricey though. strawberries, fruits expensive, raspberries, caffeinated coffee, and green tea. Now why do they want caffeinated coffee? Yeah, why is that? See what I would do, I mean right now, because of the drought we're having in the U.S., right now fruits are expensive. What uh, I would do is uh, invest in a, in a and good, nuts and nuts too. Yeah. Invest in a good food dehydrator. You know the type that they make beef jerky with. Uh, and uh, when and you, when your bananas become uh, right before they become overripe, dry them out and save them. Store them in a Ziploc bag and you, and bring them with you. The dehydrated banana. I don't know if you could like slice. Well, I guess you could, yeah. But bring them as a uh, uh, as part of your snack. Um, raisins are not that expensive. Uh, man, I used to I used to get at the Asian market. I used to get uh, dehydrated goji berries for like two dollars and change a bag. Ooh. And then all of a sudden, somebody must have caught wind that, hey, why are we importing these uh, goji berries that are so cheap? when we could be selling them for ten dollars a bag now i don't see the uh the uh, affordable goji berries yeah, i love them and they're no longer affordable talk That's about why. powerhouse of, of nutrition for fruit you know right. um you could buy the plants i hear americans can buy the actual go goji bush because they grow in the temperate uh, area <laughs> You know, but anyway. Continue. Anyway, those berries and everything, they're rich in plant compounds that turn up your body's antioxidant defenses. Yes. And these treat, treats help your body burn off ab fat. A, a um, bioflavonoid known as polyphenols, which is a pro proanthocyanidins. Ogliomeric proanthocyanidins. Ugly. Ooh, ooh, it was ugly. Proanthocyanidins. Oh. Anthocyanidins, yeah, that's the antioxidant found in the. What you call somebody ugly? No, in the pigmentation of these fruits, especially the dark fruits, dark red, dark red, blue, blue, purple. Blue. Yeah. A man who stepped out of his car in Florida's Alligator Alley, which was the first mistake. To view one of the deadly reptiles was bitten by a poisonous snake. Oh, he, the alligator didn't even get a hold of him. It was a snake. Let me guess, he was miles from uh, the Ooh. nearest paramedic. Broward County Sheriff Fire Rescue Spokesman Mike Jackless said the 29-year-old man was bitten on the foot by a pit viper on Saturday. Is that in indigenous to Florida? Well, they didn't. They didn't number the. I mean, name a pit the viper? particular viper. Hmm. So how would you know if it was indigenous or not? 
you know, a viper is a viper. It could be a bunch of snakes. Many snakes are called vipers. Pit yeah, vipers. If, it, if it bit him and it, and, it, and the snake took off, it'd be pretty difficult to. Uh, to uh, uh, now the uh, Duck Dynasty, when they go out looking for snakes, they blast the son of a bitches. Yeah, but I'm sure the duck. Stuck a left on I'm sure the Duck Dynasty boys don't go out there wearing sandals like no, this no, guy no. probably had on. No, they're always walking in mud and everything. They're no, they probably camouflaged got, up. You know, they have boots. They have boots, boots on. Yeah, 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 yeah you yeah. know, you don't you don't walk where there's a lot of varmints. <laughs> you know, uh, with sandals on like like you were a tourist. Uh, yeah, or open-toed uh, flip-flops. <laughs> no, not at all. Anyway, Saturday, after he and his girlfriend made a stop to check out an alligator at mile marker 49 on Interstate 75, the highway which runs through the Everglades is also known as Alligator Alley. Yeah. Jack was said of <coughs> officials from the Miami-Dade Venom Unit responded and an air rescue helicopter from the Broward County Sheriff's Office flew the man to the Cleveland Clinic Hospital in Weston, Florida, where he was stabilized. That was the, probably the nearest one. Why is it named the Cleveland Clinic? It's not in Cleveland. Maybe the, the man who founded it, his last name was Cleveland? Anyway... Well, it's Florida, D-U-H. Mike Jackless did not about. know the man's name... Mike Jackoff? ...or his hometown. Oh. Jackless? Maybe it was Jackless. I don't know if he was Jackless. He wasn't jacking off? He wasn't jacking <laughs> off. They were doing their job. Doing a jab? Doing a jab, taking care of people with snake bites. Levity. Okay. I gotta fix those levity bills. Uh, you sure make enough we, noise for me. How are we doing on time? It's uh, four. Oh, it is? Yeah. We have time for one more that's that's uh, uh, that's uh, uh, political and hard-hitting? I don't know about that, but let's see if we have something a little smaller than that guy. And speaking of... Uh, the opposite of smaller. You you have one on Chris Christie, or there's nothing new about him. Nothing new right now. What about the Republican Congress? Except that we are spending money to pay for his lawyers. That's true. And to pay for Wisniewski and Weinga Loretta Weingard or whatever. Well, their investigation. Really. Which doesn't seem to be doing too well since. Uh, the girl and uh, the other uh, guy uh, uh, don't have to turn over any of their crap. Interesting. So that don't sound cool to me. Yeah. Well, All I right? know I know the uh, the Republican Supreme Court uh, justices are still in the news. I know I know they're they are definitely uh, in the spotlight still. You mean the Washington? The ones that that are allowing more corruption in uh, politics than ever before. Oh. Taking the cap off of uh, contributions? Oh. No cap? Capless? No cap. No cap. Well, there's still caps, but they're, they're worthless. They're worthless. Next time around, there'll be another case there, and then you can give any amount any time you want. So are these, are these uh, Supreme Court judges, uh, are, they're like popes? They're in for life? They're in for life. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. So oh. they have to either get too old... And retire or, or, or die, die. Or die. That's right. Lovely. That's right. Now, some evangelicals, uh, so-called Christians, counterfeit Christians, used to pray, I don't know if they still do, pray for the death of certain liberal judges on the court. Does that sound like a Christian thing to do? That someone would get from the Bible? I don't think so. Nothing, I mean, I know so. Nothing they they uh, talk about is from the Bible. Correct. So that's why I call them cultists. That's what they are. You know, and... Uh, and these cultists want us to support them with tax deductions 
and uh, the, uh, 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 the initiatives. They want, they want to bring out back all racism and bigotry across the board because they seem to be for it. Well, yes, and they don't want to. They don't want to get insurance companies that will pay for women's contraception. No. Etc. Do they want to bring back um, pre-existing conditions, denying people of health coverage? They probably would if they could, but uh, that's something entirely different. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. they, no, believe, well, any, they believe that they can... Supposing you are a business owner. Yeah. You hire Aetna to provide coverage for your workers. Yeah, real, real Aetna. What the hell do you have to say whether Aetna should be able to provide contraception for those people or not? That's Aetna's decision. What's your business in there? It's not a stinking business. Exactly. It's Aetna's decision. That's correct. It's, but it's totally Aetna's. Hobby Lobby and, uh, you know, the other idiot, uh, the, yeah. they want to be able to tell these, the company not to provide. These are the right-wing fundamentalists, religious nuts, the holy rollers that want to dictate to the American people how to live their lives, what to do, what not to do. These are power-hungry nuts. Yeah. Like in the old days with the Roman Catholic Church with uh, 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 indulgences, where you bought indulgences and your sins were forgiven, and your mother's sins, who is waiting in purgatory, is forgiven. Which meant that... And she can move into heaven. Which meant that uh, the Catholic Church had a bat phone to God and and also spoke for God. Yes, because the, which, pope, the pope was in place of God, the vicar of Christ. Who said that? The pope did. The Pope did, and he said that he was inerrant. He could not make a mistake. Who, who determined that? The Pope. <laughs> if you are against what the Pope said, you are against God. Because he came to that conclu conclusion. That's correct. One, some Pope did. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> Two animal welfare groups and dozens of lawmakers are urging the Obama administration to improve humane treatment of poultry at slaughterhouses. Humane treatment of all livestock. Yeah, yeah, and, and this ties into what I was discussing with, with William Morrow b earlier. Mm -hmm. Animal rights and animal abuse. Excellent for a last article. A last Citing reading. statistics that show hundreds of thousands of chickens accidentally dropped alive into tanks of scalding water every year. To remove the feathers, but alive. But alive. Yes. Sounds like something China would do. Ah. The Animal Welfare Institute and the Farm Sanctuary have petitioned the Department of Agriculture's Food Safety Inspection Service to strengthen humane treatment regulations by, among other things, prohibiting the throwing of live birds into scalding tanks. It's cruelty. It's, 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 it's despicable. Why do we need to petition uh, the uh, uh, FDA or USDA? They're supposed to do it automatically. Yes. Yes. When things go according to plan, <clears throat> yeah. by the time they reach the tank, but a small percentage miss the automatic knife that is supposed to slit their throats yeah. and wind up dying in the tank. Earlier this month, 68 House members urged Agricultural Secretary Tim Vilsack to scrap a proposed poultry inspection rule that would speed up cleaning and inspecting bird carcasses. 
known as evisceration. The lawmakers said in their letter to Vilsack, Oh boy. That would result in more birds missing backup slaughter devices and entering the scalding tank alive. The House members also objected to the rules reduction of 500 to 800 inspector positions. So, indeed they would. We don't want to pay for more inspectors. You haven't forbid. Yeah, God forbid. FSIS Deputy Administrator mm -hmm. Phil Durfler said the Agricultural Department is using the full extent of its legal authority to protect the chickens from inhumane conditions because poorly treated birds can present a food safety concern and it is ethically appropriate for us to do so. Yeah, I mean, God, have Bingo. a heart. Have a heart. I mean, livestock should be humanely dispatched. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's still a creature. I mean, you know, I, I speaking of chickens and 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 livestock, it's livestock having you know feelings and everything, yeah. and, and some intelligence more than we think. I was watching a video of a a, a hen running up to a little boy and the little boy hugging it and I put I posted it on the uh, the group uh, um, this group is about nothing I posted it on that group and uh, um, it was kind of cute you know he's like and the hen stood there the hen the hen rested his um, her head on his shoulders the little boy's shoulders and he was just hugging the hen yeah, well, and, there's a woman and, down. and the hen wasn't squawking her at all he just stood there and uh, I mean you know uh, there has to be some intelligence there to bond like that. There's a woman down in Florida who has one of those um, fancy chickens. Yeah, show the chickens. Yeah. yeah. No, not show. The fluffy ones. Oh, uh, 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 um, oh, yeah, I know which ones you mean. Silkies. The silkies. You know, they're from China. And she treats, in, I mean, she walks around with them in her arms, etc. It's like her uh, baby. You know, the silky, the silky chickens have black skin and black meat. Even the bones are black. They're they're in in China. They're medicinal. They're considered the meat is used for uh, for making soup for people that are ill. But but the silky is uh, its feathers look like fur. Looks yeah. like a big fur ball. Very cute actually. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, these chickens are uh, especially roosters. They're, they're, they're beautiful animals. They they have intelligence. You know, you could bond with them and everything. And they're. Uh, uh, well, even cows. Even I saw a, a video the other goats, day yeah. on Facebook where the dog and the fish were playing. Excuse me? Dog and a fish. You mean like a go big goldfish? No, it was a big black fish. Playing? The dog was in the water with the fish. It's not in a bowl or an aquarium. Okay. In water. And the fish was playing with the dog. Oh, really? Yeah. The well, fish? you've seen uh, America's Funniest Videos. They wow. sometimes have dogs or cats playing with birds yes you know true yeah they're not out hurting the bird but, no, you know, well these, an with. these animals are probably raised together as, yeah. as 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 babies and you know they interact and you know it's hey animals of life if, uh, i mean i'm sure i'm sure a tree has has certain feelings too i mean they already proved that plants respond to attention and inattention. And inattention. <laughs> lack of attention. Yeah. They respond to both, you know. Yeah. But anyway, thank you very much for joining us for this week's uh, Uncensored Hard-Hitting Truth for the uh, Easter weekend, uh, Pagan Easter, Ishtar, whatever, and, uh, and then followed by Earth Day and followed by Arbor Day which is the celebration of trees, you know, all wrapped up into one. So have a great holiday weekend, and we will see you next week, God willing. And the creek don't rise. And the creek don't rise. Yeah. And the creek don't rise. Uh, so all those traditions of the uh, Easter egg oh. and the Easter bunny... And the old chicks, it's uh, it, it's connected to the fertility god. Uh, Goddess. It, 
goddess Ishtar. Uh, Ishtar, Astarte, the queen of heaven. Different names in yes. different cultures. The fertility goddess Ishtar. Um, hopefully, uh, no, not hopefully, I know my sister's a great cook. I, I will be eating uh, quite well come Sunday, and I will be drinking f pretty good grog. Oh, jeez. To celebrate the... I think the, I will be having the lasagna. You can have lasagna? Well, my sister makes a very good deep dish lasagna. Yeah, nothing like a deep dish. Unlike those little namby-pamby uh, um, short lasagnas hey. that you get in pizzerias and Italian restaurants, the cheap bastards. Uh -oh. I like a good deep dish high stack lasagna. Three cheese. Uh, abundanza, man. Abbondanza. Abbondanza. <laughs> okay. Tutto bene. Okay, Boney Maroney. Say goodbye to these people. So long, people. Yeah, and thank you, dogs in the neighborhood, for not barking yeah, during, this yeah. during this show. Jackie didn't come out, man. Yeah, the big mouth. Boca Grande, the big mouth. What's her name, Jackie? Yeah. 